Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel. Like this one right here, we are going bold with a lilac shadow look. So I was scrolling through Nikki Makeup's feed on Instagram once again and I saw her do this beautiful lilac look with a bold like orangey I think it was orangey red lip I will post a picture right here and I will link her down below as always and I had to recreate that eyeshadow look I thought it was so pretty so I kind of tailored it to my hooded eyes I'm going in with two shadows I think that is the whole key here when you're kind of exploring into color and you want to make it wearable i think the key is not going in with like five different shades going in with two shades still gives you that bold look but it's wearable i would feel more than comfortable walking out with this and not like someone was looking at me like whoa what the heck does that girl think she's doing right now on a sunday at 12 o'clock you know what i mean this is just like whoa that's really pretty that is that's different you know what i mean it's it's bold but it's like a baby step into the color. So I think you'll find this video super helpful if you're kind of trying to get a little more colorful with your makeup or if you just want to kind of play a little bit. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I have a lot of dryness going on on this eye, so we're going to kind of not pay attention to that and pay attention to this eye that we're going to do together. And this is so simple if i wasn't talking through this i'm pretty sure this entire look would take me five minutes tops so let's go ahead and get started i'm taking my profusion infatuation palette and i'm taking the lilac shade in the palette shell right here and i'm just going to take that on a flat brush this is my mac 239 i'm going to make sure my concealer isn't creasy because i didn't set that today it kind of sets down and i'm just going to start to pack shell all over the lid basically to where my orbital bone is so I don't want to take it too high up I'm not taking it on the hood of my eye I'm just really taking it up to the orbital bone you could see right there and if you don't know where orbital bone is it's basically up to the point where you can like push in if that makes sense it's where your eye naturally sits so the thing with shell is and by the way I don't get really much fallout at all with this but the thing with shell is when you start to blend it out it's gonna lose its pigmentation so as I was practicing on this eye I had to go in and kind of re-up the color after I blend it a few times so keep that in mind if you're going to be using this palette and you blend a lot I really really like to blend my shadow a lot so the more I go in and blend the more I'll lose pigmentation but that's totally okay I could just go in and re-up the color after I'm done blending and we're basically to the point we need to be already with shell I'm just gonna kind of refine a little bit right here and you'll notice I'm really kind of just packing the shade on because I want ultimate pigmentation because we are going for it with this lilac look so the next brush I'm gonna go into is my morphe m507 I'm still gonna take a little bit of shell on there and I'm just gonna start to kind of blend those edges and add a little more color where I need to so you could already see I'm starting to lose pigmentation with this you might want to go in and try an eyeshadow primer with this one and see if you have any luck there but you'll really just want to focus on blending so holding your hand out like this is the best way to blend the color I actually think this might be a little small for what I need so I'm actually going to jump into my Smith 247 and I'm gonna start to blend actually with nothing on it and then I'll go back in and re-up shell a little bit because I feel like I'm just getting a little, I'm taking a little too much off of the lid rather. So I'm just kind of doing windshield wiper motions and kind of little tiny circles just to make sure there's not a harsh edge. So see how much pigmentation has come off of my lid and I've barely even touched it. But that's okay right now. I just want to focus on not having any harsh edges. And then we're going to go into another more pinky shade in the palette. Yeah, I've really lost a lot of pigmentation there. We're going to go into Personal, which is a more pinky shade in the palette. I have too many things in my hand right now. 
This is personal right here. You could take a lighter purple shade if you wanted to. You could really go in with a neutral brown here if you wanted to as well. I just kind of want to keep it like pinky pastel purple tones. So I'm going to take that Smith 235. This is also a brush that kind of comes to a point, but it's a little more fluffy. So you guys can see right here. That is the Smith 235. What is on my finger? Lord knows right now, I've been filming videos for the past like five hours. So I'm gonna take personal and now I'm gonna kind of work that right at the edge of shell, right into the inner corner. I always like to make sure to apply a little more right here in this area to really kind of lift the eye. That's the shape of my eyelid. It kind of is like a dome. So I'm going to go ahead and take a Wet n Wild, I think this is called their P20 brush. This was part of the Walgreens set. I'm going to make sure the brush has nothing on it and now I'm just going to kind of blend the personal shot. Yeah, personal out a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and re-up Shell because like I said we lost a lot of pigmentation but it builds right back up and it doesn't get patchy so watch. Takes only a few seconds. And you're right back to where you want it to be. And then I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. This is just a Morphe pencil brush. And I'm gonna take shell right under the eyes. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. My camera always, I need to blend this edge, so don't worry about that. I'll do that right after I'm done with this. But my camera loves to focus on my compact and not me. All right, and jumping back into the Smith 247. Yeah, 247, I'm gonna blend that edge like I said I was going to. My eye is starting to water, lovely. <gasps> I don't know what I had on my hand. Oh, it was that little brown spot. Ah, Let me try to fix this, I'll be right back. All right, note to self, when we have things on our fingers, let's wash them off before continuing our makeup. So I fixed that as good as it's gonna get. You guys get the idea here, but I'm gonna just kind of blend the edges once again. I'm gonna add a touch more personal. And we're gonna have to go in once again and kind of re-up the shell color. I'm going to also take personal under my eyes. All right, now because I do not have a black shade in this palette, I'm taking this Wet n Wild House of Thorns palette, and I'm just taking the black in here. You could use literally whatever you have, and I'm going to kind of work this under the eye, and then I'm going to line my eyes with a liquid liner. I'm just going to use the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen, my favorite, and then I'll top over that again with the black powder so it kind of looks like it's... My cat is literally holding a... I gotta take a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. He is holding a Q-tip with his little paw. I don't think that's very good for him though. So let's go ahead and apply the black shade again, starting under the eye. I'm gonna kind of push up as I apply it. That just kind of gives me a nice fade. starting to get that watery outer corner and I want to quickly blend that out with my pencil brush that I had applied shell under the eyes with. I'm going to dip into shell again and then just blend that out so we've got a very blended lower lash line. Sometimes I notice in my videos I don't blend my lower lash line enough and I always kick myself for it so I'm going to really make sure I get up there. Sorry, my cats are like, why are you up right now? It is 11.45 p.m. and I am normally in bed by like 10. So they are like, what is going on right now? So I'm gonna quickly line my upper lash line. I'm gonna, I guess I'll try to do it on here and speed it up. It just takes a while. So let's just try it. I'm not going to be too meticulous with this. And by the way, I have like 
a double layer of lashes so I really have a hard time kind of getting around them right here which is usually why I do these or this off camera because it's super hard to get under my like second layer of lashes. Screwed up a little bit in the inner corner, but it's okay. Nothing to cry about. So now I'm gonna take that black once again. I'm taking this on a Smith 202 brush. It's just kind of a pointed liner brush and I'm gonna go right over because I like a smoked out matte lash line. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna look at everything. I think I need to grab a little more of personal. Alright cool so I'm just gonna give my lashes a quick curl and I'm gonna apply a crap ton of mascara. I'm also gonna line my inner waterline with a nude on the bottom. Uh, let, me, let me just show you. So on my upper waterline I'm just gonna use the Physicians Formula Glide On Gel Liner in Black Velvet. I know a lot of you don't like to look at people do this, so. And then for my lower waterline, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. Oof, my eyes are not happy right now, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna apply like five coats of the Essence Lash Princess, which is just beautiful. And it makes your lashes really chunky if you want them to be, but if you only go in with one coat, they'll look really nice and separated and fluttery. It's a really cool formula. I almost feel like it has fibers in it, but I don't know if it does. If you wanted to, you could go in with falsies, but I feel like with this mascara, I do not need to. So that's one layer and you could see how beautiful that looks and nice and separated. So pretty. Alright you guys, and this is the completed look. I think this turned out so pretty. Like I said in the beginning, I get super nervous when it comes to playing with color, but I think the key here is just grabbing one or two shades, especially if it's kind of bold like a lilac shade, and making that the focus. One shade on the lid, one to blend it out, and you are good to go. I would feel so confident walking out the door like this and not like somebody was like, why does that girl have purple eyeshadow on, you know? I think, I say this all the time, we live in such a world of beautiful Instagram makeup, but a lot of it is very heavy, and if you see it in person, it's not extremely wearable. So I think this is a wearable way to play with color. If you are kind of like me and getting out of your comfort zone with color, I think this is the way to go. I'm definitely gonna do the same thing with the Blue Blood palette from Jeffree Star. I just bought that yesterday. Holy crap, was that a process of waiting and refreshing and waiting and refreshing. I almost looked at that palette and was like, I'm not going to get it because these shades just are not wearable without looking like Mimi, but I think, like I said, doing something like this makes it wearable. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, as always, please leave them down below. I read each and every one of your comments and I try to respond to them. It might be a couple days late because life happens, but I really, really appreciate every comment. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.